so 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 Simone Anderson lost almost 100 kilos and in the process she found herself. Now the social media sensation is sharing her body positive message and her passion for fashion with the world. Today we're going inside Simone's closet. I would describe my personal style as very eclectic. I will try everything and give everything a go once. Um, some things work for me and some things don't and that's totally fine. Um, I love the idea of just looking at a piece and not really thinking will it suit me but just giving it a go anyway because I love the print or I love the cut or I love the style and yeah really just seeing something I love and just rolling with it. I honestly, for my favourite thing in clothing is brightness and is just bold and statement and I I just roll with it really. I think if I love a print I'm just going to do it and it's not a very Kiwi thing. I do stand out in a crowd. Um, I walk into a room and I'm the only one wearing bright yellow but I really embrace that and I embrace that I'm wearing something that I know no one else is going to be in and I'm not going to have something that you know 30 other women own in New Zealand which is quite cool. I've definitely always been into being quite bold, being really big with accessories and all of that sort of thing. I guess my love for colour has come a lot with losing weight as well because now I've got such a more varied selection of clothing I can choose from. Um, it was quite, you know, you had a quite select little market before and there were probably three shops I used to be able to, you know, actually shop at for fun, bright, fashionable stuff and now I've got thousands so I mean it's now a lot more varied what I can choose which is really nice but I've always been into my bold pieces but now I can just play with them a lot more. Yeah, even at 169 kgs I absolutely loved fashion and accessories. I had probably a hundred statement necklaces that I'd have hanging on my wardrobe and big earrings and I love big chunky belts and all of those sort of things and like I said before because my wardrobe was so it was more limited before I would sort of play it up more in terms of my accessories bright colored handbags and things like that but I've always loved fashion and that sort of flair hasn't gone away. Um, I don't really have like a hundred percent favorites that I you know like brands that I go to. I really love supporting New Zealand labels so I love things like Charlotte Lane and Pia Boutique and you know those sort of things where it's I know it's sort of a young lady trying to make her way on New Zealand and I want to support her along the way. Um, I yeah, I'm not there's not single brands I align with I love it all and if I see a piece I'll just go for it it's you know I really like changing it up switching it up and making it really fun. Oh yeah, I've got some jackets, which are probably the only thing I really find that I invest in would be like pieces like beautiful capes, wool capes and things like that. The one piece I've had, it's now three seasons, which doesn't seem like a long time, but I haven't been this size for a long time, so now I'm like, I'm going to hold on to this, um, would be my a storm wool cape jacket and I just absolutely love that. It's so beautiful, timeless and I can't see myself ever passing with that piece. Um, my Gucci belt is something that it was a big investment for me. I'm not really into spending a lot on clothing. I like stuff that I can just switch in and switch out. So for me it was a, a decision and I thought about it. It was four months. I waited on the waiting list and finally got it. And now I probably wear it five out of seven days a week. So I'm getting value for money out of this bad boy. I'm not letting it go to waste. <laughs> Um, out to events and evening events never will wear one twice. Um, <laughs> it sounds terrible but I really, for me, fashion is something I really love playing with. I love, you know, really creating it and creating that entire outfit and when I'm done creating that outfit I move on to the next one. So I've got a little Facebook page where I then straight away that night or the next day will list that outfit and sell it on. During the day I'm in the same sort of t-shirt and pants and I wear those over and over and over again. Jeans, I've you know, don't sell on um, t-shirts and basic stuff, but if it's a sort of more evening event or something where I'm going a little bit more glam, yep, it's a one weird thing. <laughs> Shocking, I know. <laughs> um, I'd say for a general event that I'm going to, you know, a few nights a week, I've got it down pat to the fact that I can do like hair and makeup in about half an hour now, which is amazing. I'm in 
in, out, outfit on. It takes me then probably another 10 minutes to do my photos, so maybe 40 minutes all up with the whole process. But for, a, you know, for say the social media awards, I spent about two hours, did my full hair, makeup, everything like that. So I can spend a long time, but if I need to, I can pump it out super quickly. <laughs> My inspiration I think mainly comes from social media, so I follow so many incredible girls, Kiwi girls, um, obviously the big like Chloe K and those sort of things, and I think I really pick pieces from everyone that I love and sort of try and incorporate it into my own unique style. I, I love seeing outfits that someone else has put together but not copying it exactly, but being like I love that element, sorry, and pulling something else from, you know, someone else's photo. and. I think that's what I love about social media is that you see so many very different people's styles that you can sort of turn into your own in a sense, which is really cool. I would honestly, and it sounds, I don't know, it might sound terrible because she's quite polarizing, but it would be Khloe Kardashian. I think she always looks phenomenal. Her style is so varied, which I really like. She can go from ultra glam to throw on a pair of jeans and a little crop and still look fantastic. But it's always got that underlying, it's very sexy, it's very feminine, and it's, yeah, it is very her, and that's what I, I truly do love. And she's got always such amazing hairstyles, which I'm constantly trying to copy. <laughs> You, but I really do love what I wore the other night to the social media awards. It was a uh, crop and crop and skirt number, and it was like a maroony burgundy colour, and it was just so fitting, so beautiful. It had a really big statement one sleeve on it, and it was absolutely amazing. That was just somewhere a piece that I actually hired from Style Starter Boutique over in Takapuna. So I love that that you can get a thousand dollar gown and you're paying. $80 for the evening, you know, really nice. It means you can switch up your style a lot more easily and it's far more affordable. Um, I also, what other pieces have I loved recently? I wore a white dress the other evening. It had a big sort of like cape style thing on it. It was very elegant, very feminine. Lots of bosoms in that one, but I really did like that one as well. It was really form fitting and really, yeah, really pretty. Oh, I definitely get negativity daily now. It's it's really has increased as my followings increased. And at first it was something I really, really struggled with. I'm someone that wants to please everyone and I want everyone to love me. But I have realized that not everyone's got the same fashion sense, not everyone's got the same sort of views on how how exposed our bosom should be and things like that. So I think I've grown a lot as a person as well. And these comments truly they don't get me down anymore. I'm I'm so set and secure in who I am and what I'm sort of portraying to the world. And I know I stand for really good values and really good morals. And I know I'm pushing a really good message. So as long as I'm sort of comfortable in in myself, I think that's the main thing. And other people, if they you know if they don't like an outfit, they don't like an outfit, and that's that's totally fine. It would be so boring if we all loved exactly the same things in this world. And that's what I've decided on. Oh yes, I've had a few terrible fashion moments and I look back and I've, because I've got obviously a full record now of everything I've been doing for the past three years, I've got those records and they're not going anywhere, they're online for everyone to see still. And I remember going to a pool party once and I wore, oh, probably about two years ago, this blue scuba dive like crop top and these big blue flared pants and they were truly horrific the combo together i also threw in a nose ring because i thought that was super stylish as well big round sunglasses i looked like an alien from another planet but at the time i felt fantastic so i guess that's all that matters like we're always going to look back over these moments and think what on earth were we thinking but this is one of them where it was like i yeah i really hope i never decide to do something or wear something like that ever again So we do matching outfits and we don't do them for your everyday event, we do them for festival and festival season only, and Christmas day and Halloween and those sort of things, anywhere where it's a fun dress up occasion, it really makes a statement, it gets people laughing and giggling and it's, we just have so much fun with it. We pick the fabrics together and we've got a gorgeous lady that makes it for us, she's just down the road and she's so clever and we'll sort of take a picture or a design to her and that's all she does, she just makes it off the top of her head, she's just amazing i love having fun with it and we source fabric we found fabric on aliexpress we've gone to spotlight you know we've worn curtain material before it's just it's so much fun and it's our sort of 
creative little element together where we can have a bit of fun and design something that we really love. No, fashion is definitely not something I take too seriously at all. It is, I think it's there to have fun with, it's there to play with, and we're not always going to get it right. And that's the coolest part about fashion is that it is it's experimental and it is something that everyone can have a go with. And it's, it's what makes you feel good at the end of the day. And it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks. My, honestly, my one piece of advice would just be if you see something, try it on you just do not know if you love it and like the print just throw it on because you have no idea i mean so often i've seen friends that have just won't even go near a style but be like oh that's such a cute print we're like okay let's put it on they put it on and they love it so it's i guess not to be too afraid of what it looks like on the rack because it looks completely different on and again if you like that piece and you feel confident in it do it don't worry about what anyone else thinks